Welcome back, YouTube. This is Bumpery, and I wanted to give you a quick a synopsis of my observations in terms of producing or refining isotopes. I don't know what the verb is for that, uh, but I have noticed that as they level up, they do take uh, they take a little bit longer to create. But I've also noticed that if you um, if you're at the same tier, for example, my my orange isotopes are at tier three. Sometimes it'll take five minutes, and those usually are the 15 minute, really quick, very powerful isotopes. Sometimes it'll take like an hour and a half. And those are usually um, like the one I have here right now that I have activated. It's uh, good for, I think it was for 24 hours and the, um, so it, it takes longer to build. That makes sense. I started one just now. Uh, and it's going to take six hours from the time I started it. And my phone got so excited that it overheated and I had to power cycle. Hence the reason I'm showing this to you now. Um, so I know that it's at the same tier. Thus, my guess is if I finish this, uh, which I'm going to do right now, uh, I think this is probably going to be my first permanent isotope at level three, which is pretty exciting. So I thought I'd share that with you in real time. Wish me luck. Let's, uh, let's gem this out and see what we come up with. It is a level 3 as you saw, just like the one I have below. This device is incredibly stable. With a lifespan measured on a geologic scale, it's essentially permanent. There you go. Thank you for interrupting me and taking my thunder, Milo. But he's right. In the right-hand side, we have uh, our first You can activate and deactivate oh, this device as often as you like. Like a radioactive light switch. Well, that's handy. There's something I did not know. Like I say, this is my first permanent device, and let's see if uh, he's going to interrupt me again. Let's click one more time. Also, should you decide you no longer need this device, we can salvage a large percentage of the isotopes used to create it. Which is excellent to note as well. I used 80 isotopes and I get 60 back, so that's that's really convenient and it looks like I, I can hold on to it for as long as I want. Like you said, activate it, deactivate it, and we'll look at that in future videos because that's going to be really handy when we are processing uh, the rest of our orange isotopes in the future. Sometimes I will want to use those really quick 15-minute uh, burst uh, isotopes so we can still hold on to this one which will be great. Obviously, we're not going to salvage. We're going to keep it. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave the one that I have presently turned on uh, that's increasing the health of all defenders by 10%. Um, the permanent one increases the health of all defenders by, by 4%. So you'll notice that the, the this is another observation, the the length of time for which a device lasts will significantly impair the power of that uh, of that isotope. So, for example, this one is permanent, but it's only boosting everything by four percent. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, but if I don't have any other isotopes available, it's handy to just have it uh, ready to go all the time. Um, so, again, here we have the uh, the one that's lasting 24 hours, which is kind of your average Joe uh, isotope, if you will. And and it's doing the same sort of thing, except it's a 10% boost. And we also have uh, an extra have a blast perk there. So uh, those are my observations thus far. Again, just to reemphasize, uh, once I do get past my uh, tier or my level three, all of those times, right now it's five minutes, an hour and a half, and six hours, those will all increase incrementally as well. So I'm... I'm I'm curious to see uh, for my economy one uh, once I once I get to level six here, which we're almost there. Hooray! Once I get there, what will a permanent one look like? That'll be like a billion hours. So here's a you know a decently common one at four hours. So my average Joe economy one's about four hours, which I will not finish because I know it's a pretty normal uh, isotope. I'm not too excited about that, but this has been fun for me just uh, showing off my very first permanent isotope and giving you my observations thus far. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends so that we can see the entire community in future videos very soon.